For the second time, a dozen Thais are due to be repatriated from Dubai after arriving there having paid to get non-existent jobs. Last week saw another 19 or 20 come home following a similar scam that saw them pay around 100,000 baht to online agents who promised up to 50,000 baht a month wages to welders. And the warning is out not to accept online job offers where you pay to work overseas unless you're convinced that the company is genuine. In Huahin, a Dutchman is under arrest in an investigation into child abuse. Special investigation officers raided his home where they discovered him along with a young boy. Numerous items were removed from the property as evidence. TNN Thailand reported that he had admitted inviting youngsters to his home and that he had abused them. It appears that he faces similar charges in his homeland if he ever makes it back there. If you've ever wondered about those cases where someone gets a speeding fine from an area they've never visited, yesterday's arrest in Bangkok explains it all. It seems that two Thais were selling fake car documents on Facebook. Police set up a trap to catch them as they pretended to be buyers, and a raid on their property revealed a multi-million baht turnover, which leads police to believe that there are others involved too. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, concern has been raised after a Chinese tourist died during a sea walking experience. Sea walking involves tourists walking along the sea floor in a helmet with air pumped in from a support boat above. The activity company is under investigation as post-mortem reports are awaited. Meanwhile, it was quick to advise that it has complied with all safety and insurance requirements and is one of nearly two dozen similarly licensed operators here. All licensed jet ski, banana boats and other water adventures are required to be fully insured by law in Thailand, and regular checks are carried out by City Hall. An Australian who runs a guest house has complained to police that a former guest posted nasty comments on a Goder and TripAdvisor that lost him some business. Notorious for his own flavoured responses to numerous negative reviews, Mr. Katz's customer reviews and his own, less than diplomatic responses have long kept onliners entertained. To be fair, they've had some good reviews too, and point out that their rooms are only 500 baht a night and aimed at the very low budget traveller. Due to an oversight, a fabulous night of comedy hasn't been promoted in the city, so let's put that right now. Saturday sees the Robin Hood in Second Road hosting a night of mirth and more. Top British comedian Tom Rhodes is on stage at 8, and tickets are on sale now, with a massive 20% saving on advanced bookings. On the night, the tickets are 800 baht, so why not book early? You can buy your tickets at the Robin Hood and save. How good is the comedian? Well, it seems that Jimmy Carr rates him as one of the best. Tuesday sees Megan singing for the Poppy Appeal on Fabulous 103 FM, and Thursday has Tony Justice from Magna Carta sharing his vocal abilities too. Despite everybody's efforts being terrible, we hope that you'll remember the mirth and pop a few baht into the Poppy Appeal boxes around the city that support British and Thai ex-servicemen in need. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 34, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. First every day with English language news on TV and radio and keeping you in touch with Thailand along with Pattaya, the city of fun.